Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another 2024 presidential election prediction. Today, I'm going to be doing an election prediction between Ron DeSantis, the current governor of Florida, and Stacey Abrams, the, I believe, the ch not the chair of the DNC, but she was the chair of the DNC, and she ran for the governor of Georgia back in 2018. Um, these two candidates definitely have a chance at winning their nominations in the respective parties. Um, Abrams has made a name for herself in Georgia, talking about uh, getting more people registered to vote and what she calls ending voter suppression. And DeSantis has also made a name for himself, kind of filling the boots of Trump now that Trump has kind of not been as outspoken, or I guess, I mean, you know, there has been things that have stopped that, but I guess uh, DeSantis has kind of filled his boots in that regard and become more of the populist figure of the Republican Party at the moment. Uh, and if Trump does decide not to run, DeSantis has a very likely shot at winning the nomination as well as Abrams. So anyway, let's get right into the safe Democrat states. Um, I do believe the East Coast will remain safe Democrat. Uh, not, I mean, not the East Coast, the West Coast will remain safe Democrat. Uh, I think the Dames will do pretty well in the East Coast as well. Black support, I think she'll get a significant amount of um, across that area as well um, with Abrams. Now DeSantis would also, I think DeSantis would do well with the Trump base, and he would also help continue those trends in the Rust Belt uh, and really go after those states. I think he would make them pretty competitive, actually. Abrams would be on the defensive in a few of those states, at least. Um, but anyway, let's get into likely Democrats. That will be uh, Maine's first, Colorado. Uh, I'm not going to include Virginia. I do think DeSantis has a little bit of a swing with the suburban women. So I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of the states uh, open. Anyway, for likely Republican states, I think that Ohio and Iowa will both be likely, as well as Maine's 2nd Congressional District, will all be likely Republican states. Uh, and I also believe that Texas will remain above the five-point threshold, and it will continue to be a likely Republican state. As you can see, I have my margins in the um, in the below box of the, uh, I don't know what the hell you call it, the description box of the channel, um, and likely is five to 15 points. I still think DeSantis will manage to keep it in there. I think he'll get a significant amount of the Hispanic vote as well as continued amount of those people that have left California. As you saw, California lost an electoral vote in its electoral college count at 55 and 54. That is because people are leaving that state and going to Texas uh, and moving there. And that's why Texas gained electoral votes. I do think that that will help people in the people in Texas, um, excuse me, the people in Texas increase uh, and gain more votes for Ron DeSantis. Um, anyway, let's get to lean Democrat states. I was just trying to talk over somebody there so you guys could hear my voice. Um, of course, New Mexico will be lean. I think Virginia as well. Minnesota will be lean. Maine at large will be lean. Um, and that's about all I will consider. For lean, I still think DeSantis will make it competitive in Georgia. I don't think uh, Abrams is... Yeah, I think she's the same popularity as most Democrats in Georgia. I don't think there's really anything special about her there. It's just that she's been the one in creating that movement over there, especially something that Democrats have been in support of. And then we lean Republican. I think that actually Nebraska second will lean Republican. I think he'll uh, get that state, get that, not that state, but that district back from Trump. Uh, obviously, Florida, I see lean. North Carolina. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave North Carolina out of it right now. I don't know if it'll be lean Republican at this moment, but I think that Wisconsin will be lean Republican. And I think... Um, yeah, and I think that Pennsylvania will be lean Republican. These states have continued to trend to the right over the last eight years. At this point, over the last eight years in 2024, Trump incredibly exponentially increased that trend, barely lost those two states back in 2020. Biden, probably one of the best candidates to actually win those states, and he barely won them. Now DeSantis in 2024 will win them by a lean margin. I think DeSantis has a very good shot at those states. Uh, for tilt Democrat states, I think that Georgia will tilt Democrat. I think Abrams will win the state of Georgia. I think North Carolina will tilt Republican. Um, another state that I think will tilt to the Democrats will be Nevada. I, I think that Abrams will cling on to Nevada, getting a lot of the support from Las Vegas, a lot of the black support from Las Vegas uh, and Carson City uh, holding on to that state. Although I think DeSantis will actually perform pretty good in Nevada compared to other Republicans. Uh, I also see Abrams winning the state of New Hampshire, uh, barely holding on to the East Coast, that state. I do think DeSantis will actually make it a bit close, but I still think Abrams has that solidification over the East Coast. Aside from main second, DeSantis will lose pretty much all of that Northeast um, uh, by significant margin. Aside from main second, and I guess a little bit of New Hampshire and Maine at large, but Abrams will hold on to them. 
Uh, anyway, I think that DeSantis, DeSantis will win Arizona by a tilt margin, which gives him the election. I think he'll win that back. Uh, very, very close state in recent years. Even Trump lost it only by 0.3%. Um, it has remained close. It has not trended all the way as far to the Democrat left side as we as people have thought or as we have thought. Uh, and it still remains somewhat um, purple. And I think that DeSantis could actually tilt it back in his favor against a candidate like Abrams. And I also see DeSantis tilting Michigan to the right, uh, giving it to Republicans for at least one more year. Um, anyway, that completes this map. I'm going to shift all the colors. Uh, so that means that DeSantis will go on to become 46th United States president, not the 46th, the 47th United States president uh, after Joe Biden and kind of taking over the Republican Party from there. Anyway, just take a look at this new map. The only difference in this map from the 2016 map is that Georgia is blue. Uh, pretty much stays the same, which is a bit interesting. Um, the fact that things have kind of stagnated, at least over the last few years, uh, but we'll see, possibly. It could change in 2028. Maybe it'll change a bit in 2024, but this is how I see this map playing out at the moment. Anyway, subscribe below. We're almost at 200 subscribers. Let's keep it going. Comment below who you think would win this election, what you think I got right, what you think I got wrong, uh, and make sure to like the video. Uh, I can't wait to continue producing the election videos and stay tuned for more. Have a great day.